New Zealand has proved to be um, very exciting with regards to the, the current research about hydrothermal systems associated with um, submarine volcanoes, specifically because it occurs at one end of a very large subduction system. So when new crust is formed on the ocean floor, it occurs at what we call spreading ridges. In the Pacific Ocean, it's known as the East Pacific Rise. Then it moves off laterally, and at the end of that conveyor belt is where we are. It's called a subduction zone. That's where that crust gets subducted underneath another plate, in our case, the Australian plate. As a consequence of that subduction, when that plate goes down, it melts and it comes up and it forms volcanoes. These are the volcanoes of the Kermadec Arc. And why that's particularly exciting for us in the science world is that up until now, most of the research since the first discovery of black smokers in 78 offshore the Galapagos Islands have been focused on spreading ridges. Only since our work in 1999 have we systematically started to look at our end of the conveyor belt, commonly known as the Pacific Rim of Fire. The bottom of the sea floor is really, really poorly understood. We perhaps have mapped 5% of New Zealand's um, offshore seafloor territory. Um, on the seafloor, we have mountains bigger than Ruapehu, we have chasms bigger than the Grand Canyon, we have all sorts of stuff that we don't know about. So first and foremost, there is knowledge. Having said that, associated with these hydrothermal vents of the Kermadec volcanoes, are uh, animals, they have the likes of which we've never seen before, bacteria or microbes which we think may ultimately host enzymes or something which could be for cures of cancer, and also there are significant mineral deposits copper, lead, zinc, gold deposits being formed associated with these vents. Ultimately, they may prove to be a strategic resource for New Zealand. I feel that a good portion of my work is all about adventure. There's obviously a component that's about science, but there's another component about education. And what's obviously quite difficult to do is to en enable the average person to go down on the bottom of the sea floor in these very expensive submarines and so on. So I feel quite passionate about trying to bring to, to the public, if you like, um, my experiences so they can perhaps just for a short moment they can experience what it was like to be down on the seafloor and to get a glimpse into this world of which they know very little about.